Hey guys, what's up? Once again, mp4podcast.com. And today we're talking about the new browser called Skyfire for your iPhone, um, iPod Touch, and all your iDevices. Now, a lot of people are saying that this browser uh, plays uh, Flash files. Actually, it does not play Flash files. What it does is it takes the, uh, the Flash files and re-encodes it to QuickTime. Um, it's a really good idea. The only problem I've seen is uh, some flash files, it might have a hard time maybe pulling it off the website. It had some problems with Blip. Uh, CBS uh, was able to play uh, an episode of uh, CSI. However, when it got to the first commercial, it uh, stopped working. So um, they, they can easily get around that problem because I know Play On does the same thing. It re-encodes shows from Hulu, uh, CBS, in other places also. Um, so what it basically Play On does is it re-encodes stuff from Hulu or CBS or whatever and it re-encodes it to MPEG-2 so you can stream it to Xbox 360 or PS3. And if you have a Wii, it re-encodes to Flash 7 that the Wii supports. So it's a pretty good thing. And that's where these guys may have gotten this idea from. So what we're going to do is we're going to as you can see this looks like a little film strip Actually, let me refresh the page right here. And as you can see, it's like, okay, I can play this file. So let's play it. It's one of my older videos. So what it's doing is sucking in some of the flash file, and it's going to re-encode it to a QuickTime. Okay, as you can see, this is Apple's QuickTime player for iPhone and iPod and what all your iPad devices. This is not a Flash uh, player at all. So, <clears throat> another alternative to getting Flash working, and this is all types of Flash on a browser, is to use Cloud Browser. Now, what Cloud Browser is, Cloud Browser... They have a server someplace in Boston, and they do all the encoding of the browser. Um, they're doing a screen capture of the browser, and so their bro that browser is playing, you know, anything from, from Hulu or CBS or wherever it's coming from, and it plays it right in the browser, and then streams um, QuickTime or an image of the browser right into um, your display on your iPhone or iPod Touch. So it's a pretty unique way. Uh, they only stream 15 frames per second, and they only give you a limited amount of bandwidth when you want to use it. So you can't use it for a long period of time, but if you do get the paid version, I think it's $6 a month. And it's 30 frames a second, but I'm not sure if people really want to pay uh, 6 bucks a month. And I really don't see that much of a need for it that all, the, all that often. But it is nice to have when you really do need it. So we will go to youtube.com and I'm going to have to put you guys down for a second because I just have to do this. Uh, it's hard to do with one, the one hand. And right now what I did, I just uh, typed that in the search engine and I will do a return. And I'm done. And as you can see, here are my videos. And I'm going to try and get the same one that I played. The FIFA one. Alright, so there's the FIFA one. I'll click on that. As you see it. Now, as you can see, this is playing right in the browser. It's a stream browser, so remember all the encoding of the browser. This browser is actually on a server someplace, and they're streaming it back to me. So when I'm moving the cursor, it's actually moving a virtual cursor, and I'm actually, you know, touching parts of the web browser on the server. So it's kind of a 
unique thing. It's a little bit like maybe like on live, how on live you can play uh, the highest quality video games um, and they do all the processing on a server and they just send you the image back. Now it's a little choppy because like I said before, they only stream 15 frames a second on the free, uh, the free version. Uh, well, I guess they charge 99 cents for this browser now, but um, if you pay the month, uh, I guess the premium service, which is like six bucks, it'll do 30 frames a second. And you can watch pretty much anything. Actually, you won't be able to watch Hulu because Hulu uh, blocks it because it's a, coming from an anonymous service, uh, server. But it may play CBS. I don't quite, uh, I haven't checked. Um, so it probably won't because CBS is probably blocking it just like Hulu blocks it because it's coming from an anonymous server. So, once again, there is no real way to play uh, Flash. There are workarounds to get Flash content to play on your phone. Skyfire is a, gr it's a great idea. I'm really glad that uh, these guys did it. But keep in mind, it does not play real Flash. It takes it and re-encodes it to QuickTime. The only way you can get Flash to work on your phone is uh, a jailbroken iPhone, and then you have to install Flash. That's F. It's the L is switched to an R, so it's Flash. And that's a hacked version of uh, Flash from an Android phone. So some uh, hackers, they took the uh, Flash off of Android and they recompiled um, it to, uh, to be installed on an iPhone. <coughs> Excuse me. Now there is a um, plugin for Safari. I did see another YouTuber make a video about it. And what that uh, plugin does is somehow, you know, you have to sign up, I guess. I never... I never used it, but I guess you sign up and you make an account or something. So when you're on YouTube, uh, and you see that video, you know, you'll click the video and that plugin will go tell the server, hey, um, so and so wants to play this video. That server will, will then uh, go out and find that same video, re encode it, and then stream, stream a QuickTime version back to you. So just to let everybody know, the iPhone still does not play Flash at all. At all. So, um, hey, if you guys want Flash, you want the real thing, boycott iPhone 5. And I'm guaranteed Steve Jobs the next day will bring it out. <laughs> so, th these are probably the two best alternatives. Um, I, you know, for a buck, I get cloud because sometimes you're in a jam and you need Flash for the website, you know, or... You know, you may want to check something out that um, Skyfire doesn't support. You know, maybe if you want to use Skyfire and you want to watch a really long video on a different website. But keep in mind, it will not play <coughs> will not play videos that are chopped up with commercials. Now, like I said before, they can probably get around this problem because I know the guys over at PlayOn uh, have. If you, want to, if you want to check out what PlayOn is, PlayOn, one word, dot TV. And like I said before, it just re-encodes uh, Flash or H.264 to MPEG-2 and streams it to PS3 and Xbox 360 and it'll re-encode Flash 7 for Wii and it streams to multiple other devices. So these are probably the two, my two favorite uh, app, app applications for um, getting Flash to work or getting the content to um, somewhat work on my iDevices. So once again, guys, this has been mp4podcast.com. I'm going to leave the links to both of these products. I believe Skyfire was taken off the App Store. It's probably coming back in about a day or two because they had um, their servers were getting hammered because everybody was buying it. So once again, guys, this is mp4podcast.com. You guys take care and stay safe. Later, guys. And if this video has helped you, please subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have a question, uh, leave a comment. And please rate the video. Later, guys. Bye.